Why don't we go to McLaren's? Let's go to McLaren's. You guys talking to each other? <laughs> Nobody's listening? What's wrong with McLaren? McLaren's is boar snore. Ted, tonight we're gonna go out. We're gonna meet some ladies. It's gonna be legendary. Phone five. I had no idea why I hung out with Barney. He didn't phone five, did you? I know when you don't phone five, Ted. Come on. We always go to McLaren's. Yeah, because McLaren's is fun. McLaren's is this much fun. What I'm offering is the chance to have this much fun. See, you say that. You say it's gonna be this much fun, but most of the time it ends up being this much fun. This much fun is good. It's safe. It's guaranteed. This hand gesture thing doesn't really work on the phone, does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Get in the cab. Marshall, you too. Oh, I wish I could. I think Lily and I are just kind of... I understand. Get in the cab. Why can Marshall say no? Uh, because he's getting laid. Consistently. <laughs> Ted, Ted, Ted. Right here. You keep going to the same bar. You're in a rut. And I am a rut buster. I'm going to bust your rut. It's not a rut, okay? It's a routine, and I like it. Ted, what's the first syllable in rut team? Suckers. <laughs> All right. I have my Krav Maga class in half an hour. Turns out Krav Maga is not a kind of yoga. It's a form of guerrilla street fighting developed by the Israeli army. <laughs> this is compliments of those two gentlemen at the bar. My knee! It's in my hair! <laughs> But isn't it nice to know people are watching? <laughs> oh my God, are you all right? What happened to you? I told the truth. Turns out the truth has a mean roundhouse kick. <laughs> oh man. Oh, well you did the right thing. I'm proud of you. I'm bleeding internally. Hey Ted, you know what always picks me up when I'm down? Other people's misfortune. You missed something so amazing. Please, can we just have one person in this whole bar who didn't see it? Are you okay? I really thought I was doing it the good way this time. I guess there is no good way. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try to do the right thing, you just end up flat on your back, flailing around in a big pile of horse crap. I'm sorry. Someone gets the internet now. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and that's how it ended with Natalie. No happily ever after, just a whole lot of hurt. And just like that, all those wonderful memories were replaced by this one. But you know, bad as that night was. I almost forgot. I know it's early, but you are a future Mrs. Erickson. Oh, thank you. Well, it'll go great with my, uh, I just love it. Oh. Okay, Lily, we're putting you on salad duty. Oh, I make this great frise and endive salad with a coriander lime vinaigrette. Oh, but this is an American holiday. <laughs> now that you're going to be a Mrs. Erickson, I'm going to let you in on a secret recipe. The Erickson family seven layer <laughs> salad. Seven layer salad? Six cups of mayonnaise? That can't be right. Oh, no, dear. Sixteen cups. <laughs> Mayo's in that cabinet. Oh, my God. There is some serious basketball going on out there. Dad totally nailed Marcus in the face with a snowball, which is a foul, because you only get one snowball per possession. So I nailed him in the shin with my skate, and then I totally dunked it. <laughs> yeah, you were sitting pretty until I whacked you with that mallet. <laughs> hey, gorgeous. Thank you. you having fun? Yeah, but, but I kind of miss you. Could you stay in here for a little bit? Yeah, 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 no problem. It's halftime. Oh, halftime's over. Get your butts out of here. Come on. And I hope you like the taste of skate, Dorco. No. Thanks, baby. Oh, isn't this great? Can't you see why everybody from my high school stays in this town? <laughs> hey, Marvin! You're the Dorco, Dorco! Man, it's amazing out there. I've done so much good today. I've got, like, a soul boner. <laughs> Man, the 
way the faces of the less fortunate light up when you give them a hot, nutritious meal, is there a better feeling on Earth? Yesterday you said the best feeling on Earth was getting your toes sucked. Then you requested a high five with your foot. Hey, Barn, what do you say you uh, let us sub in for you? Scoop stuffing for a little bit? Ranjit, party number three. Party <laughs> number three. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Look at that. Riding around in a limo, eating hot dogs. It's like we're the president. <laughs> hey, I bet you're feeling better now. Oh, I feel much better. Guys, is that Moby? I think that that's Moby. Now, kids, Moby was a popular recording artist when I was young. Oh, no way! <laughs> that's totally Moby! That's awesome! Say something? I should say something, right? Moby! Hey, Moby! Oh my god, he's coming over! Everybody be cool! Everybody be cool! Hey. Hello. What's up? Uh, you, uh, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm just going to this party downtown. You want a ride? Sure. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> wow, you're friendly. <laughs> Big fan. And Barney Stinson. So, uh, what about this party? Uh, it's just a New Year's thing with some friends. Wow, that sounds awesome. <laughs> you guys want to come? Yeah, we'd love to. Uh, Ted, sidebar. Uh, Moby, switch. Right. Hey, Moby. <laughs> yeah, what's up? What about? What about Lily? Call her. I've been trying to call her. I can't get through. All the circuits are jammed. <sighs> it's New Year's Eve for you. Well, look, we'll just swing by Moby's party, and then after. No, I can't. I can't. Lily's waiting. I gotta. I gotta find her. Okay, I'll meet you at party number three. But. Come on, Moby's party! Moby's party! Moby's party! <laughs> Runji, Moby's party. Moby's party! <sighs> this is a cool mix. You know, people think a great mix has to rise and fall. I think it should be all rise. Yes! Moby! Yeah, it should start high, get higher! This. <laughs> some cover party you make a run for it. No, there's no man behind. Either we all get out of here or no one does. But I... Don't be a hero, Shervatsky. <laughs> See you on the other side. Come on, pick up. Damn it, Victoria, where are you? Pick up, pick up! Cupcake? Okay. Where are you? Why haven't you called? Oh, I'm out hooking up. Mm with three other guys. Or maybe I'm a devoted girlfriend and I'm calling you right now. Yeah, why do I doubt that? Hello? Ted, I just saw the news and a truck carrying sulfuric acid overturned in front of Robin's house and it's melting through the sidewalk. You can see straight down into hell, it's bad. You should go home, dude. Marshall, it's fine. Nothing's gonna happen. Ted, what does your mom always say? Nothing good ever. Nothing happens. good ever happens after 2 a.m. Go home. It's too late for juice. Dude, Robin and I are just friends. She doesn't even like me that way. Yes, she does. She likes you, she told me. What? It's a big secret, so don't tell her I told you. But she's very vulnerable right now, and you have a girlfriend. Go home, Ted. She, she likes me? Yes. So you see why it would be a very bad idea for you to go up there. Go home, Ted. She likes me? Go home, Ted! Uh, you're right, I'll, uh... I'll see you at home. Good. He's going home. He is so not going home. I cannot believe you just told him. What do you mean? Wait, here's what you just said. Ted, whatever you do, don't go up there. There's a beautiful girl who wants to have sex with you. And then she's gonna make you some delicious juice! <laughs> He's not going up there. He has more sense than that. Okay, just be cool. Don't look at me. <laughs> okay. 
How'd you get in here? What's it to you, giant turtle? It's me, Barney. <laughs> oh, hey. Where's Lily? She's in the bathroom. Right, um, wait here, I should go talk to the band. All right. How did you guys get in here? We just snuck in the back. Th Are you serious? I've been trying to get in here all night. I finally paid a janitor 200 bucks to let me borrow this mascot costume. What you got in? <sighs> Slow and steady won the race. <laughs> Hey, bro, uh, have you seen my fiance, Lily? Your fiance? Whoa, tonight she's with me, bro. Unless you're looking for trouble. Listen, little buddy, I understand it's prom and the adrenaline's pumping. But... No, not tonight. I've waited too long for this. I finally got a girl, and I'm not going to let you take her away from me. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. Yeah! Nunchaku! Oh! I'm coming back to I can't believe I unloaded like that on a high school senior. I can't believe a high school senior unloaded like that on me. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you something, and um, maybe it's crazy, because you guys are the cutest couple ever, but um, are you having second thoughts? Yeah. But not about Marshall, about me. I just keep thinking about the girl I was 10 years ago and, and wondering what happened to her. I don't want to be tied down. I want to live in France and Spain and Italy and just soak up life and put it on a canvas. Even if it means being a waitress in crappy cafes for five years, I don't care. I'm going to be a painter. A and I can't do any of that with, the, with a boyfriend shackled around my neck, you know? Uh, but anyway, I I'm blabbering. <laughs> Way to make new friends, Lily. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Marshall. Nice to meet you, Marshall. Guess we're hallmates. Yeah. Ah, it works. Violent Femmes. I love this song. Me too. I didn't have any of the experiences I set out to. The travel, the bohemian art life, my big lesbian experience. I didn't do any of it. Lily, you're marrying your best friend in the world. I mean, isn't that worth all the other experience? You can still travel. I mean, you can still paint. And as far as your lesbian experience... This is fun, right? We're outside. It's a beautiful day. The Indians are winning! I gotta admit, it is really nice to be outside. Yankee fans, please turn your attention to the Diamond Vision for a special seventh inning stretch surprise. Oh, no. Oh. We tried everything. Baseball, strippers. The guy still won't eat a damn pancake. I think he's beyond repair. See, this is the problem with guys. You don't know how to deal with heartbreak. Oh, and what's your prescription, Dr. Estrogen? Eat Hagen dazs and watch Love Actually till your periods sync up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, my God. How long have you been doing this? Well, my dad taught me to shoot when I was a kid. Whenever I'm feeling lonely or depressed, I come here and it reminds me that Guns are fun. <laughs> um, you know, Ted is kind of against guns. And that's why Ted's never going to find out about this. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that sounded kind of scary with me holding a gun, didn't it? No, I, I just mean, please don't tell Ted. You want to try? Only hell yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, this is what I needed. I felt so powerless this whole time, but this, <laughs> this is power. This is... <gasps> Should have mentioned the recoil. I gotta hand it to you. When he got home, Marshall was smiling. Did you sleep with him? Because I was actually like three days away from suggesting that. Sometimes all you need is to get in touch with your feminine side. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Well, congratulations. You're the first person to cheer him up all summer. You win. Ooh, what do I win? I'll tell you what you win. I'm taking you away this weekend. You so, are? Mm. That's so nice. Yeah, my aunt and uncle have a beach house out in Montauk. Oh, it's really romantic. 
My uncle's had like three affairs there. Wow, must be a nice house. I've seen pictures of your uncle. This is gonna be so great. We'll finally get some time alone. Are you sure Marshall's gonna be okay with this? Yeah, absolutely. Dude, I'm doing much better. In fact, take care. Really? Yeah. Hey, thanks. And hey, if you need anything, day or night, just call me. You know what? Please don't call me. <laughs> what? What's wrong? It's uh, Lily's credit card bill. She must have forgotten to switch her address. So? So I wonder what kind of charges she's making out there. My dad made out with Wendy the waitress? He cheated on my mom? No, that's, that's impossible. Ted, it's a well-known statistic that 83% of people married longer than six months are seeing someone on the side. Do you know that when you make up a statistic, you always use 83%? <laughs> you think I'm lying. Well, have you done any surveys on the subject? Because the good people at www.swingers.openmarriagesnatural.legalizedpolygamy.org have, and they beg to differ. It's not a real website. Oh, and I suppose I didn't get a real t-shirt for running in their 10K. Hi, Dad. Hey, Ted. Barney. Enjoying your vacation so far? Oh, yeah. Uh, listen, can I speak to you outside for a sec? Uh, sure. So, you went out with Barney last night? Yep. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good time? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry you couldn't join us. Yeah. <laughs> so... What? Well... God, I love brunch! Oh, damn. Zucchini bread is redonkulous. <laughs> this isn't weird, right? Sort of thought it might be. But it totally isn't. Uh, in BTW, you totally did not oversell the eggs, Benny. Right? Right? I mean, why can't two single bros go out and rock brunch Sunday morning style? Exactly. Thank you. That's exactly what I've been saying. This must be destiny. What are you talking about? I have two tickets for Mama Mia Friday night. You like Gabba, right? <laughs> what am I saying? Who doesn't? Anyway, I was going to take Kara, but now it's all you and me. We're going to do Broadway bro style. What do you say? Yeah! Hey, did the cold wake you? No, I've just been watching you sleep. Oh, did you try and take a shower? I'm sorry, I only have one clean towel. I don't buy into the myth that we need to shower every day. Okay. I'd offer you some coffee, but I don't have any, so you're gonna have to. <laughs> I'm boycotting coffee. You may as well drink the tears of a Colombian peasant farmer. God, I love this place. It's a good thing I don't have a job, because I could stay here all day. I think I left something on the bookshelf. Well, whoops, oh no. Oh, look, oh, I'm disgusted. Wow, you're open about your sexuality, and that's one of the reasons I love you. Did I just say that? Oh, well. Cat's out of the bag. I love you. Whoa. Uh, okay. Beep. Beep. Backing up. Um, Barney. Oh. Oh, my God. Are you married? Is this your wife? What? No. Yes. Yes? Yes. You son of a bitch. I can't believe I let you enter my sacred temple. Oh Come God, on, baby. Please. No. Like, oh, you don't understand. What have I done? Now, I know Aunt Lily hiding in the apartment while Uncle Marshall was on a date with another girl seems pretty crazy, but when you hear her side of the story, well, it's still pretty crazy. What's up, Swirls? No, okay? No, no more. I will not let this become a thing. It's over. No more Swarly. No Swirls. No more Swarly. No more Swar. Wait for it. Lee. No more Bob Swarlymon. No more. No, it's over. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Thank you. <laughs> Why didn't you call me? Was I supposed to call you? Yes, about the whole Marshall dating another girl thing. You said you were fine with it. Yeah, in front of Ted, but then I shot you a look. What look? This. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a look. Yes, it is. It means I'm upset. Call me later. You should have pulled me aside and me what the look meant. If I pulled you aside, I wouldn't need the look. Or maybe if it was a more distinctive look, okay, you wouldn't have look is important. What's important is that I can't stand the idea of Marshall dating another woman. 
I mean, what if he falls in love with her? Well, if it makes you feel any better, Ted says she has the crazy eyes. What's that? Uh, apparently a thing women have that guys can see and it tells them that the girl's crazy. Oh, kind of like how you never want to date a guy with perfect fingernails? Jerk nails, exactly. <laughs> well, did, did Ted say whether she was good looking? I mean, because if I knew she was ugly, then maybe I wouldn't be so freaked out. Uh, he didn't say, but you can find out. I think her name is Chloe. She works at Costa Coffee on 78th. Phone call. Band or DJ? String quartet played at the ceremony. But for the actual reception, we had a seven-piece band. We paid extra for the sax, because I just love that smooth alto sound. How many bridesmaids? Seven. Flowers? Azaleas. Color scheme? Dusty Rose and Sienna. Husband's name? Um... You were never married. Yes, I was. No, you weren't. How do you know? I looked it up at the library. What library? The one on fifth. When did you go? Today at lunch. And I had an apple brie panini with potato I'm salad. I'm not questioning the lunch part, Ted. What database did you use? I used the Canadian Mall Marriage 6000. <laughs> Fine. Marshall looked it up at school. But you told Marshall? You lied to me. Oh, see, this is why I don't tell people secrets. You were supposed to be the one person I trusted the most, and even you couldn't keep a secret. But it was a fake secret. Yeah, I was testing you, and you failed. And now you're never going to know why I don't go to the mall. And it's good, too. You were testing me? That's insane. Oh, yeah? How long did it take for you to tell Marshall my biggest secret in the world? Five minutes? That, that wasn't a real secret. Was Pitt of Nadine?